Okay, now we're going to add a spin button to to the uh, form, and let's put a label here. I'm just going to call this label uh, weight. And here's my spin. Well, actually, I'll put a text box next to the weight. And I want to call this text box um, TXT TXT underscore weight. And I'll put a spin button next to the text box, like here. Let me move this over a little bit. Notice if you want to move multiple controls, you can hold down the control key when you select them and just move multiple controls like this. So you could do things like that. Um, and this spin button, let me name that something. Uh, SPIN underscore weight. And with a spin button, all it does is it, it allows you to scroll through a range of values. So you set on the spin button here we are you set a um, a maximum amount let's say I'll, I'll select 450 and no, I'll select 600 and you select a minimum amount I'll select one and then all you do is <clears throat> you can write some code like this um, if I double click this spin this spin button if I double click the spin button I'll go into this spin weight underscore change and this is going to the code in here is going to execute whenever I change the spin button whenever I hit up or down on the spin button so all I need to do here is do spin underscore weight dot value I want to assign that to the text box. So I'll do uh, txt underscore weight dot value is equal to spin weight dot value. And if I run the code, maybe you can see what's going to happen here. If I run this, here's my spin button. That code that I wrote when I, when I hit the, the the up or down arrow on that spin button, I fall into this code. I put a breakpoint here, and oops, what's going to happen when I run it is it's going to start it's going to start incrementing. Yeah, let me stop this. it's going to put the value of the spin button into the value of the, of the text box. So let me show you this. It's going two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, and I could just hold it down and, and all the, the number keeps increasing. I could hold it down and the number keeps decreasing. Um, I could, in my text box, because it's a text box, I could put a number here. Um, well, what do we want to do here? We want to set a couple things. When when we first pop up the the form, I want to put a weight in the text box, and then the weight I put in the text box should be like an average weight for the for a human being. So I can go to spin button, and down here, where's it at? There is a. There's this value. 
this value is the initial value of the spin button. So I'm going to put 120. And that's going to be, I should say, this is weight in pounds. And I'm just going to move this over a little bit so you can see the full. Okay, so what I did here on this spin button control, I set this value parameter equal to 120. So now when I run this, the, it's going to start increasing from 120. So that value is like the default, what it's going to default to. But, but notice what happened if I run this again. I don't get an initial value in this text box. To get an initial value, it's real easy. Let's just double click the form and in this user form initialize like we've seen before, let's just do a textbot.weight is equal to text underscore weight is equal to the spin weight dot value. So set initial value of text box for weight. with the spin button. So that's with the spin button. This thing up here, I should have put this. Set initial value of option button. So here we are with our spin button. Now when I run this, because in this initialize, user form initialize like we've seen before, the first value in the text box is going to be you know, 120. And then as I increase or decrease by pressing up or down, the spinning, you see what happens. Uh, so a spin button just sets a range. You set a range. You know, this our range goes from 1 to 600. If I change this to 599, then I press up. Oh, actually, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't do that because the spin button has the weight. So that's something to notice. Let's say I put the value. Look, look how it says 73 in here. This 73 is the value of the spin button. So even though I changed the value of the text box to 2, the spin button still has 73 in it. So when I click up, I get 74. So just be aware of that. Let's see if we can put a letter in here. It doesn't matter. You see how you can write anything in here? It's going to be the value of the spin button that's going to that's going to go in the text box. So that's pretty neat how you don't need to worry about someone you know, typing letters in here because what's going to be in there is always the value of the spin button. So now we can uh, close this and I can go to my worksheet and I can put a column here for weight and I can click on this button here and all I need to do to put it on the worksheet is do something like this x row comma six dot value equals to spin underscore weight dot value. Now I can run it. And I'll run it from the worksheet, just why not? And I'll put in Joe. I'll put great. 24 married. I'll leave that blank. And I'll make Joe is will be 156 pounds. I'll do enter and I'll do close. And there you go. The weight 156 is now on the worksheet with along with the other data that we've seen. So that's all the spin button is. Uh, the main points are when you put the control on the worksheet, this is the default value for your spin button, this value property. And then the max and the min are the range, the numerical range for your spin button. So our max is 600, our min is 100. And you have to link that to a text box or some other control and to do that as we saw you you double click on the spin button to get to this spin weight underscore change and if you double click and for some reason it doesn't get you to spin weight underscore change again go up here in this drop down find spin weight and then find the the event the change event and you'll get this you'll get this code and all you have to do is write in there this and then in the initialize, we set the text of the text box here equal to the value in our spin button. 
and then we can just grab the value of our spin button and put it on the worksheet here. So that's what a spin button is. In the next uh, video, we will talk about um, the toggle button, which is very, very easy too.